Hi and welcome to this uh, quick demonstration on PressCheck. So this is a digital publishing tool that basically lets you create digital magazines or newspapers from your online content. So all you need to have is your online content with an RSS feed, so that's most blogs or categorized content on your uh, website. So we're just going to show you how to quickly do this. So this is the PressJack screen. Now you can download a free trial from PressJack.com for this and you'll see something very similar to this. And when we come in, you'll see a couple of areas. We'll just quickly show you how to create a new publication. So we'll go to Add New Publication. And I'm going to create a digital newspaper on my blog content. So it's all about digital publishing. So I'll type in my title here. OK. We'll take away the sample one there. And then we need to say what needs to go into that digital publishing content. What is going to form my digital newspaper? So I can do a few things. I can either add the feed if I know the exact URL of the feed, or if I'm not too sure, I can just search on the website. So here we go. I'm just going to search for my website 3D issue. And a quick search will bring up every feed that has uh, that keyword in it. And I know from looking at this list, this is my uh, feed list for the blog. And OK. Now here you can just modify the category name and the title. So if I just come up here to edit, I'm going to say 3D issue blog. And again, we'll call their name this as well. And OK. Now you can have as many different feeds as you like. Now these are going to form categories within your digital newspaper. So I might add one more, which is actually the PressJack blog. So another blog that I own the content of. So I'll search for this one. Again, it brings me up my feeds. And if I just select the PressJack blog, which is that one there, and OK. And again, I'm just going to edit this so my uh, category titles in the digital publication look uh, pretty good. So I'm just going to go press jack blog. And again, in the name. So these are my two categories and the name of my publication is this. And when I'm ready to build, I can simply select build here. So what this is doing is going off to my two sources, collecting all the text, all the images from all the articles there, and it's going to collate it together into a digital publication. So we'll just wait for that to happen. Now it does it fairly quickly, and once it's done all that and the uh, progress line's fully complete, we can now preview what our digital publication looks like. So if I'm going to go to output here, So here you go, this is in preview mode, so it's not on our website yet, but we've got our digital publishing newspaper. And I can select either of these two categories, or I can just click to start. So what this does, first of all, takes me to my first category, 3D issue blog. And I can flip through these magazine pages, and it's collected all my articles into one digital magazine. Now if I can go back to the uh, home page here, select the next category and I get these articles here. Now if at any time you, the user can also browse the categories and the articles via here, select one and it goes back to that article. Now the other thing you can do is on every category page it shows you how many articles that you've left unread and it also blanks out these dots as well that I've read so again if I come to another article, we're on 46 unread. And then if I go back to my category page, this number's changed here. So that's our preview of our digital publication. Now we can also do a couple of other things before we publish this to our site. Now you'll notice the Articles tab here, so if I click on this one, this is listed now, every single article that the PressJack software has pulled through. So if you don't want to uh, feature any of them, you can just simply highlight them and delete that article if it's not particularly relevant for this publication. So say we're ready to publish this to our website. We go back to the Output tab, and we have a few options. First of all, if you want to upload it to your site. Now in this trial version, it sets it to our sample uh, site just to give you an idea of it online. 
but in the real version you'll be able to upload this to your own website. Secondly, the features. So what do you want your readers to allow, allow them to do? So if you don't want them to be able to print, simply deselect that option. Sharing features. If you want them to be able to share via Facebook, uh, Twitter or email, just select these options. And so if we're ready to uh, go ahead and send this to the website, we simply go over to the Publish button. I'll click Publish and it goes up to my online destination. So I'll click View Online and then here we go, our publication is online for our readers to see. They can then do a number of things like print, they can view full screen, clippings which allows them to customize the publication to only the articles that they want to appear. They can share via social media, see the library, notes, bookmarks, search through the publication, have help and of course exit the publication. So that's how to make a digital newspaper from your blog content.